Hello everyone, welcome back to J Hunter Media. My name is Jason and this is part two of MLB uh, The Show 23, Road to the Show with Bart Simpson, Barfino, Bar, Bar, Barfilomew Simpson. Alright, so um, we got our, well, got our first win. Um, so let, let's play. In the professional ranks, players have to develop not just on the field, but in the weight room as well. Minor league manager Rachel Balkovec joins me. Rachel, how important is it for players to make that progress in their off-the-field training and conditioning? So, it is absolutely crucial, and I think that more and more, you know, when I first got in the game in 2012, it was relatively new, but now we're talking about if, if you're not doing it, you're behind. So every single it's hard to believe but every single player is lifting two times a week in season at least and that's that's through playing you know six seven days a week they're still lifting before the games which i, I don't think a lot of people understand True. you know how consistent they are and, and and how much that helps them to keep their energy levels up throughout the season okay so um we are playing against arkansas again um so we got Starting pitcher, we're lefty. Uh, Bart is a lefty. We got one win. We went all nine innings, 12 strikeouts. So uh, let's see. Let's continue. All right. So we're uh, the Springfield Cardinals are five and three for the season. That's good. So almost ready to get underway. We're, we're and against the same pitcher, pitcher too. 10. What do you have on him, Chris? All right, Just let's... a four-inning start his last time out. Oh, he took the loss. They're look looking for more out of this. And it's raining. Yeah. Raining again. Uh, all right. I think we can disable the tips. Here's the left fielder, number 14. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. A little yes. up front there as he swings through it. Too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just yeah, a low yeah, 90s yeah. fastball. Yeah, I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by it. Now here is number five. On one. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. All right, so I chose number 18 for uh, Bart. Here is there's an episode it's see it's episode 18 season 8 uh, season 18 and episode 18 where he is playing uh the little league world series and all he had to do was catch the ball he kind of caught it but the ball bounced out and lost the little league world series so um i did a little bit of research and that's why I chose uh, 18 for Bart Simpson here. Got him looking. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table centers on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Is it one now? That's cool. And he 
he's down 0-2 as he Hornby. swings through it. All right, there's number eight, one away. Swing and he struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. <laughs> well, he's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. I don't know if I got... And welcome back. Trying to get a screenshot for the, the uh, for this series. Alright. Gotta get the thumbnail. Let's see. Swing and a miss. There's a strike. <laughs> that was a jug yes, pitch, right but we'll take a look he at swung at it. Sequence here. Yeah, pretty yeah. simple in terms of pumping yeah. away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Now it's the right fielder, number 12. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Next pitch has popped up. Mine, mine, mine. I got it. Rivas makes the catch, and there's two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him Let's work a little here. harder out there on the Whoa, mound. Yeah. I mean, he is just mowing him down. Whoa. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Swing and a foul straight back. And fouled off. No score here in the second. Hey, two outs. Got him. Oh, yes. That's a strikeout. We Got move the, to the strikeout. Third with no score. Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the third baseman, Connor Hoover. Third baseman. Simpson measures Ooh, six feet two inches, 220 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Hey, come on now. Simpson back to work. And there's a strike. You know, oh, this group of hitters, as you probably noticed, Nobody. haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. The numbers tell us they're swinging oh, at the first oh, pitch right. more than 90% of the time. And that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, boo. Miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Oh, that's a curveball that I'm sure he wants back at the plate. Two strikes, the sort of pitch you're hoping for. A bit of a mistake, and I'd say in a very hittable location, but clearly the break was enough to get him to swing through it. And now, Jake Anchia didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. On the ground to the left, and foul ball. Hey, place it first, place it first. Kicks and deals. Curve ball just in for a strike. Hey, one down, one down. Let's see. All right. Misses, and the count is one and two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. 
Eagles get yes. looking. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Booth. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Two outs, space is empty. And the batter now, number eight. Hey, let's go right here. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Fermin gets under it, brings it in for the third out. Nine right. straight retired here to start the game. On to inning number four. The Cardinals on top here, one to nothing. So, I wasn't trying to make uh, Barfield Bar <laughs> I wasn't trying to make Bar look exactly like I was trying to get some of the attributes. So, you know, one hair. That uh, episode where at the end of that one episode where he finally gets to see Krusty, uh, you can see he's a little bit taller than He's taller than uh, Homer, and he has, well, he has longer, he has a rat tail, but there's no rat tail uh, in this game, so, um, but he did have, like, some type of beard in the front of his chin, so I kind of gave him that. Swing and a ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a bet. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Stepping in, number five. In there, and it's on one. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there and have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. <laughs> Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bat. He broke his bat there, man. Alright. Ow! My cat. There we go. Kicks and fires. Alright, let me... Foul ball still low and two. Let me find something for you to play with. There we go. There we go. Here we go. She has this, I gave her one of her favorite toys. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It has like a rubber string thing that, and it rolls around. She loves that thing. She has like three of them because, you know, you got to charge that's them. That's the third, and that's just that's foul. Foul. Swings and yeah. misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. They usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite side, but that pitch really got in on him right there. I mean, that's a well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. So up next, Jake Shiner. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Okay, so B. Got it. Simpson makes the catch. Two away down. Now that's the designated hitter. Mike. Four. And at first, and next is the designated hitter, Mike Ford. He's 0 for 1. Out there to center, Davis under it. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. All right. 
Got in a little bit of trouble there, but... Bottom of the inning. Now, number 12. All right, bottom of the fifth. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. On the ground to first. He steps on the bag. And a quick out number one. The bad late life on that inside the fastball. Three. Ran in on the hands and got that weak contact. Little Whoa. slow grounder to get the out. Here's the center fielder, Logan Warman. Caught looking his first time up. Fought off foul. Hey, plays it first, plays it first. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. And a count there is 0-2. Go. Swing and a miss. Yes. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. That was a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Digging in, Connor Hoover. His first at bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. There's a strike. One and one. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. One ball. One and two. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Swing yes. and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Got the fam, Ken. Oh, fan cam. <laughs> I said fam cam. Back here at the ballpark, <laughs> bottom of the sixth <laughs> inning. Here's the catch up for Jake and Chia. Yeah. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate yeah, thing is the it. clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. That one fouled off. Here we go, right now, fellas. And he deals. Ball. Close, but called a ball, one and, one. and it's one and one. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The line of the pitch. This to third. Fermin picks it up. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And here is number eight. Popped out and foul ground first time through. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Here we go now, let's go. There's a strike. Yes. Get him. Swing. Uh, I got him swinging. Him that right there is one of those breaking balls that you swing yeah, through and you feel like you should have done something with it or at least spoiled it away. But when it's breaking in on you like that, if the spin is tight enough, it can actually tie you up. Oh, he was not, he, he swung too soon. <laughs> Back to the top of the lineup. Now go. the left fielder, number 14, one for two. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Got him chasing. Him. 
And now the lefty. And it's fouled away. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in a division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Fights it off, you'll see another. Here's the 0-2. Good job to fight that one off. Two down, nobody on. Hit weakly on the ground. Rebus collects it. Fires to first on the run. Throw save. Never and that was close. Nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Now it's the second baseman, number five. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch just misses. Struggled a little bit in this one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2 0. The pitch popped up. Bye, bye. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. All right. <laughs> and Cam, let's see. Ban. Fan cam. <laughs> I keep on saying Welcome fan back. cam. Welcome back. Now first baseman, Jake Shiner. The first All right. Baseman. Bottom of the seventh. Shiner. The pitch. Ball oh, one, no man. strikes. Nobody here, no outs. And that's oh, outside. That's outside. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat right here. He's been patient, and now he's in the driver's seat with a 2-0 count. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. doesn't find the zone. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, hey, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Swing and a miss. Yeah, ball, and that is strike one. Hey. And a strike in there. Hey, one away, one away. All right, foul ball. One more. Let's see. And down off chasing. strikes he goes. And there are two outs. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so yeah, far right. this weekend. Like Very little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats and let alone contact. Right. That's the sixth time Spencer he's been down on strikes in the series. So no doubt frustration mounting and very high right now. And a foul ball. And he'll one. Foul ball. Next one misses. Now one and two. Two 
swing and a ball popped up. Hernandez my, my, my. under it, puts the squeeze on that one, and the inning is over. All right. Offense held a check there. Eighth inning coming up. The Cardinals have the lead three to nothing. And welcome back. Ooh, and now the center fielder, Logan Warman. The center fielder, Logan Warman. All right, now get ahead. Simpson back to work. In the air, left side. Caperniak settles underneath it. And there's one down. Now that is the third baseman. Now the third baseman, Connor Hoover. Hey, and that's in there for strike one. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Just missed. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering is in for a strike. Let's get him out. Lights <clears throat> that one away, still one and two. Left-hand hitter waits. On the ground to third, and he grabs it in foul ground. The wind in the pitch. Oh, almost hit him. Yeah, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here at 2-2. Two -two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Great down yes. the strikes. And now two gone. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. Yeah, that was number 14. Yeah, yeah clearly trusting his stuff in this and one, bro. Feeling yeah. really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack oh, hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And Chia now with the plate All as one. he swings through strike one. Big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Hey. Yeah, there's a strike. On two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. That was a field. nice well hit. That's back there. And gone. Oh, man. He made him pay for that one, and they cut into the lead. It's 3-1. Just relentless. This team will not quit. Ah, oh, my first one letting a home run. jet stream on a line drive we saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders which is usually bad news and all of a sudden they're back in this Ooh, ball game. 352 feet <laughs> so digging in number eight in there for strike one
So they turn things over to the righty, Grant Black. He's All making right. his fourth appearance of the season. All right, Grant. Get me this win. All right, we got the win. Game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us. Okay. So... The final line score for our ball game. For the victorious Springfield Cardinals, three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. Look at all those strikeouts. So let's see. One run on three hits, no errors. They left four men on base. All right. Time of the ball game, two hours and total throw. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon, and we remind you to please. Okay. Return to. Clubhouse. All right, I got some stoves. Let's see. Got 17, uh, did 17 innings. Ooh, we are almost, we are halfway to getting bronze. Well, I guess right now we're on bronze. All right, and exit that. And full-time pitcher. All right, all right. Let's event. Uh, let's look at the schedule because I don't want to. Uh, let's see. I just want to view, let's see. Okay, so the next game will be from, be someone different. That's good. Okay. All right, so that's going to be good. Um, I'm going to end part two here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.